Hell of a Summer is one of the most sought-after movies. The original horror comedy Hell of a Summer, created, produced, and starring Finn Wolfhard and Billy Burke, will be sold internationally by Altitude Film Sales. We officially have more information on what to anticipate from Finn Wolfhard's first motion picture, Hell of a Summer. A little over a year since the Stranger Things actor announced that he was developing it. To know everything about Hell of a Summer, watch the video till the end, and before we do this together, subscribe and press the bell icon. The duo of Wolfhard and Billy Brick is worthwhile to watch. As previously slid, Wolfhard is best recognized for his four seasons as Mike in Stranger Things, but he and Brick both made recent appearances in When You Finish Saving the World and Ghostbusters Afterlife. Winona Earp is another television series in which Brick has a well-known part. The two reportedly got along well when making Afterlife and Saving the World, and now they've chosen to give it a try at directing a movie for the very first time. New first images of the hell of a summer are available. The movie's first image, which features Wolfhard and Brick peering down at something ominous from the barrels of the flashlights, was also published by the creators. When will the hell of a summer be released? The movie's not yet scheduled for release, however, the filming starts this summer. Maybe a 2023 date seems likely. Whenever there's any new information available, we'll update it here. What would be the storyline of Hell of a Summer? It's a humorous horror movie with a summer camp setting. Before the campers arrive, it happens during the counselor's weekend. As the counselors are preparing the camp, murders begin to occur. It's a bloody version of this type of ensemble camp humor. It was co-written and co-directed by Billy Brick and Wolfhard. The description seems like the idea parody of old-school slashers, but with a lot more camp and humor. When he discusses the movie, it's difficult to think of the first Friday the 13th or a slasher like Sleepaway Camp, even though boot camps were the location of choice for a lot of horror movies at the time. Given the kinds of sentimental films he's tended to gravitate towards during his career, it would be the ideal fit. To stay updated, subscribe and press the bell icon. Also, like and share our videos.